What are you guys doing? Playing guitar. Oh, okay. All the fusses that we could find <laughs> at 42 Gear Street. Hey everybody, welcome to 42 Gear Street Part 3. I'm sat here with Perfecto de Castro. Hello Andy. Hello guys. We, uh, we enjoy fuzz. For me a good fuzz is it should feel like I'm playing a big fat caterpillar. <laughs> oh, that right? is good. Right? Yeah, it's like big fat fuzzy caterpillar that uh, that, yeah, I, that's, that's what my ideal fuzz is. My perfect fuzz, I want to feel like when I play a note, the earth is going to open up and something is going to come out of it, or I'm going to go in, you know, I'm ripping a hole in the earth, <laughs> and, and somehow the, the earth is made of Velcro, you know? Yes, <laughs> yes. I want to play that note, and, I, and you'll know when I enjoy a fuzz, because I cannot help but have this massive grin on my face. And, oh. and I, I think that's, that's common for like fuzz fiends. Yeah. Like... We're going into the Engel Iron Ball Special Edition, which mm -hmm. has a built-in um, DI I out with IRs. IRs and, and it's got the and all sorts of stuff, but we're only going to be using the reverb mm -hmm. um, and a relatively Yeah, all knobs channel. at noon. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy. So. Okay, so here it is. Perfect for destroying. Yeah. <laughs> Here. I am playing the Silhouette from Harmony, the new one with a Bigsby. Ah, and so, the gold foil mini homes. Yeah. It's coming in and out, it's blue. Yeah, yeah. If you guys don't know this one, of course you're about to hear it, but. Be warned, it is, um, <laughs> what is the word for this pedal? Uh, nuts. <laughs> I don't know, I didn't even bother with notes, I'm like, just Play something that feels. Yeah. I'm like. So, I think that's the most definitive demo of this pedal ever. <laughs> That's something yeah. just super compressing, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn the bass off, that might work nicer. Like, uh, you know how in recordings there's a breakdown with... Uh, Hair of it. <laughs> there's a, like a break, guitar breakdown that sounds kind of like through a tiny speaker, and then the band comes in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um. What have you got for us? What's on your side? What is... The, uh, let's, let's look at this. You thing. want to do the silver machine? Yeah, the, the, 
The big honking thing. The silver machine, Jupiter Effects. So we've uh -huh. gone from a pedal called Jupiter to a, a brand called Jupiter. Okay. And that's. that's and are we going to level out this room when. I have no idea. Have we got any clean. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> you should be. Total destruction. What are you guys doing? Thank you, sir. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I need to process that. <laughs> but you've got a whole 12 hours to do it. We'll come back yes. tomorrow, but for you guys, it's going to be instantaneous. Okay, we're back. Good morning. And good morning. Hello, morning. everybody. That was instantaneous. For you. We, uh, we've had a party and a sleep and a breakfast in between those two shots. Oh. Hi, Ryan. Oh, hi. <laughs> and are you guys? Are you guys having fun making a little video? We have making a little video without you. Yeah. Um. Well, this is Ryan, everybody, and he wanted a lift in my bus, and we collectively decided that he'd taken too long to come to the bus. I was on the stairs, and I heard you. Burn rubber out of the parking lot. <laughs> we waited for like five minutes. I had, to sat put, there. I had to put everything in my bag. I was like, <laughs> "You said can you give me five minutes?" I said yes. Ten minutes later, you still weren't there. <laughs> I'll never forget. I'll never forget. It's kind of like <laughs> it's kind of like a life lesson. Yeah, yes. never trust you. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn Fricker said he's done this too many. I won't do the voice or the words. <laughs> too many times. <laughs> I almost lost my. I almost missed my flight because of Ryan. You heard the story, right? What flight? Go and talk to Glenn. <laughs> I'm not saying that Glenn is my master, but he definitely influenced my decision to push that gas pedal. Glenn is home. Andy's master. Glenn is my master. Glenn almost list a, missed a flight because of me? Don't don't take it up with me. That, sounds, like like just, a, that sounds like Glenn is telling stories. Do you like, do you like fuzz? I do like fuzz. Okay. Yeah. We're doing all the fuzzies. Should I hang out? What you should. You? Yeah, you can kind of. I mean, I'm pissed at you. <laughs> you should be. But I do like fuzzes. <laughs> should we give a quick tip? For those uh, fuzz noobs. Let's be um, informational. <laughs> informational just for a little bit. Um, octave sounds best on the neck pickup. Yeah. It just cuts through. Oh, I'm already there. There you go. It gives it more beef, more, yes. more things to play with. So you're, you're beefing up your tone while the, the octave is, um, is adding those frequencies that you're adding it frequ adding frequencies Basically, you go on the bridge. It up, yeah, yeah, it's thinning up. So if you're on the bridge, it's already thinner. Yeah. Um, so it makes it even more piercing. It's like, no, it sounds like there's no octave. It's, this, the the two like, sounds are blending together. Yeah. So let's hear that again. So you can actually turn off your octave using your pickup selector. Yeah. Uh. This for me is the most, uh, it's an opinion of course, the most session musician of all yes, the Yes, that's what I was, uh, was going to say. It's it's just a workable fuzz. Yes. Predictable in, yes. in a variety of situations. And, you know, sounds great. So it's the thinking player's fuzz. 
Yeah, the work, working class bus. Working class bus. <laughs> yeah, it's, I remember doing, there's, we have some more Wamplers, I remember. Mm-hmm. We haven't had them delivered yet, so yeah, the, uh, Brian's flying over in a minute to, to hand deliver them to us. Yeah. If you like fuzz and you haven't ever played a Beatronics pedal, change that. Yeah. So change your life. Okay. Okay. May I go first? Yes. Yes, you may. Uh, here we go. Switching. Switching between the two circuits, yeah. I guess. So you have an orange. Probably set this. Okay. I'm over there. <laughs> Ryan? Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> See how the knobs work? This is one end, and this is the other end. Ah. If somebody were to tweak the pedal for you. <laughs> ah. Tone control? Tone, yes. yes. I was expecting more insane. Yeah, but it's like, it's like straddling the line between overdrive and fuzz. Yeah. So it might it might be designed to work with something else. I think it's very good. I think it's very usable. Yeah. But it's more in the usable camp than the than insane the, camp that I it, was yes. thinking of. Yes, exactly. <laughs> on on your side. Uh. This fuzz, the, the queen fuzz, mm-hmm. is angrier than the king fuzz. <laughs> okay, never I, mind. I agreed with you, <laughs> and then we were wrong. Same. Is this the same? <laughs> Good to go. We're leaning towards the crazy. Mm-hmm. It's properly broken too. Broken fuzz, not broken pedal. There's a difference. the envelope turned off so the frequency is just affecting everything. Oh. I also think this is a, a, a flavor pedal. If mm. you have an already mm. cooking amp, yes, it would push it over the top. And the, the envelope filter is fun. Yeah. yeah. Fuzz and filters. That's, that's a fun... So far, there's not one that I wouldn't want to have. <laughs> there's not one that hasn't impressed me. Yeah. They all, this is just proof that they all do different things. Yes. Henning. <laughs> Broken, it's broken, broken, broken. It's proper.
Middle of the road. <laughs> the worst place to be. <laughs> This part is where we take back, or this part is where this pedal proves us wrong, where fuzz feels like you're not cutting. Yeah. This cuts yeah. quite nicely. Yeah. I would say so. It has that low end, that beefiness, but yeah. also has that sharp, it's just, it's, you're going to hear it. Yeah. And, and the, the, I think the extra beef is, is due to the switch right here. Okay. The beef switch. The beef switch. But it is... It's a violent pedal, <laughs> properly violent. Imagine that with a reverb trail after, like a really yeah. long reverb trail. Yeah. We don't. <laughs> There's a reverb trail right there. <laughs> This is the new Amplitube uh, X drive from IK Multimedia. I'll put it there so you can see it. It's um, it's the it's a kind of a multi effects drive version. Okay. The first fuzz is here. I should point out these are pre-production models. Yes. So they're not finished. That needs a bit of something doing to it. I yes. Feel yes. that that's not either that's a terrible pedal, or that's not where it should be. It says drive, drive, but it's actually just like bringing out the filter. Okay, so it's it's gotten a There's something there, right? It's gotten interesting. I think that's usable. It's just not. I don't find it that inspiring. Yeah, or we probably need more info about it too, to yeah actually know what the knobs do. So let's let's preface all of this with saying we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> like really midi honky fuzz. <laughs> These are, these are pads have one problem, um, the highs are very difficult mm -hmm. and you can hear in the highs how good the quality of something is. Right. That is not a bad problem if you know that because you have to EQ it okay. a bit different. Because a lot of bass, because louder is more good, everything is that is louder sounds better to human ears yeah. and you dial in the sounds quiet and make the EQ right. Yeah. And the louder you want to play in the end, the less highs you want.
There's a lot happening. There's a lot going on there. <laughs> That's a super weirdo. I think we're to to change this video up a little bit. It's like I think we're just proving that every fuzz can make us smile, <laughs> regardless of what it does. Yeah, I forgot that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, this. I have this. Let's okay. get, let's get your opinion on it. Okay. Listen to him do that without the fuzz. A clean angle and a fuzz, it's between a good overdrive and a fuzz. Or a good distortion and a fuzz. That, that's the argument. Did you think my fuzz argument was, I'd rather play clean? You, it was just, you lost me at no fuzz, so. <laughs> I was looking at you, and I just saw you. And it, it was like a muted trumpet, you know. Please around. go to my channel uh, soon when there will be a video, <laughs> gear in a gondola, nobody needs fuzz. This is all the fuzz pedals of 42 Gear Street in one video, which has so far taken a long time to film. Also, yes. also, no offense to Engel, this is a brilliant amp, but you literally picked the one amp that has a preamp that literally filters out fuzzes and makes them sound it, really horrible. It sounds good. It sounds great. It sounds great. Have you A-B'd it to an amp that actually takes fuzz? I know. Because any guys know that there's something in their preamp that makes fuzzes sound really horrible. He's wrong. He's wrong. I'm trying to look sexy, but I don't... How do, how do you look sexy? What about this? I, I don't... How, how, do, how do you look sexy, Michio? Like this? <laughs> Hang on, Mikhail. What, what is this? You get to say something for that. The super chat allows you to say there's a live super <laughs> hey, chat. He's asked a live super chat. Wait, do I have. Hello, everyone. Please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> yeah, we've done one from every company that we have. Right? Yes, and they have all moved on to do other things. Yes, so <laughs> we wish them well. Yes. Um, and that's what I am going to do right now okay. as well. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you for having me. Pleasure. Yeah. And I will see you in a little bit in a different setting. <laughs> yeah, from another fuzz pedal. Yeah. Yes. Okay, well, thank you to Perfecto, uh, Ryan, Glenn, uh, Michiel, uh, Henning, anybody else that was in this video. Me, maybe. Yeah, thanks for me. You're welcome. If you want to see more, then go and click one of the other videos that are right over there. Uh, otherwise, you know, have a wonderful day and fun is life. Bye bye.